from the organization that brought you Oops, No More Kennedys and Topple Me Elmo. It's the Central Intelligence Agency Special Activities Division in Afghanistan action figure. They may look American, but if they do anything bad, they never existed. Complete with realistic features based off the real American heroes like Smug Grin, Bulletproof Moo Moo, Special Guatemala Edition Radio guaranteed to make whoever's listening think they're being cool. Regular pants. But most importantly, it's a backpack full of American taxpayer dollars to pay some other guys to do I bet the dolls are also LGBTQ woke friendly as they commit their atrocities all over the world. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Okradowski of We Are Change the Org. A lot of very important information to get into. Some shocking and surprising even for me as we have yet another bombshell about the story of the decade that of course many mainstream media corporatist banking elites want to go away and as long as we are here we will make sure that it will never seriously lots of crazy stuff to get into but before we get into that plus a lot more the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is by the Empire Files. We don't always agree with them, but their their latest story, which the small clip that we played in the beginning is from, it is pretty dead on and definitely worth the watch. If you want to watch it, the link is down in the description below. As it specifically highlights a lot of very important information surrounding what's happening in Afghanistan that, of course, you mainly do not hear on the American mainstream media press. What you do hear in the mainstream media is how the U.S. troops need to stay there indefinitely as many media publications are running full-on psyopses trying to continue this absolutely insane American policy that definitely does not benefit the American people. The latest information we're getting from Afghanistan is that the supposed freedom fighters a few years ago where American tax dollars were going towards arming and funding are now, quote, rapidly taking over Afghanistan as U.S. troops are leaving and are akin to make an alliance with China, a part of its Belt and Road initiative with financial incentives and economic investment from China. The Afghani Taliban even promised not to host Uyghur militants, according to some unverified reports on the ground. Now, whatever happens in Afghanistan, we have to acknowledge that this was a mess created by government and will only be made worse by more government. I think that example is very clear to understand. This is also the same government, by the way, that deletes and covers up important health data as they're allegedly concerned about people's health. Yes, U.S. government representatives are asking the National Institute of Health to turn over their data surrounding the sickness last year, specifically about the genetic sequence of it. And the National Institute of Health responded by saying that they deleted it on the request of the Chinese government-run Google Pentagon Fauci-funded Wuhan Laboratory. Yes, on the request of the Wuhan Laboratory, the National Institute of Health deleted the gene sequence of the sickness nothing to see here nothing to worry about definitely not a cover-up happening right here believe our lord and savior dr fauci no matter what he says he is never wrong and criticizing him is criticizing the science yeah now, now, when the government's not busy deleting very critically important information that would potentially implicate it in some very serious actions, they're also setting up the police state that is becoming more intrusive and ever so expanding as we're finding out that the U.S. Capitol Police were given a budget of $2 billion to open up office buildings all throughout the country to, quote, investigate threats made to members of Congress. Now, as some Democrats are calling to defund the police and allocating billions of tax dollars to have personal police protection for themselves, you should maybe ask yourselves, what, what, what's going on here? Another thing that you should ask yourself what's going on here is, of course, in the digital cyberspace as the World Economic Forum that has called for the great global reset to be built back better. What all the top-notch globalist talking points ushered and repeated and regurgitated by the biggest politicians and corporate heads in the world. Yeah, that World Economic Forum is right now conducting a digital cyber warfare game in cooperation with many countries all over the world. This is also the same World Economic Forum that simulated a global sickness before 
the previous global sickness. And when it comes to online digital security, there's definitely a lot of information to understand, especially with all the ransom attacks that have been happening. The Guardian just released a piece entitled UK Food Supply Chain Vulnerable to Cyber Attacks. These cyber war games are happening with Russia and the United States, which is pretty hilarious since, of course, the Biden administration blames Russian hackers for a lot of these ransom attacks, which honestly could be done by anyone since tax-funded NSA hacking tools were, quote, accidentally released to the general public hacking tools that allow these ransom attacks to happen and yet no one's talking about the tools that that they're being conducted with accidentally being released to the general public yeah sorry for my skepticism here but to see the u.s doj secret service fbi working with and sharing data with russia definitely blows the whole russian narrative that the mainstream media has been pushing for a very long time and if you like skepticism and breaking media narratives down well, you'll like this YouTube channel. And if you want to support us so we continue our operation, check out wearechange.org forward slash donate. We now have dozens of exclusive videos only ready for you on lukeuncensored.com. There's ways where you can help with Cash App, Venmo, cryptocurrencies, PayPal, checking out companies and brands that we do work with, physical mail, whatever it may be. Your support is absolutely appreciated and means the world to us as we do our best to have an open, honest, genuine conversation about what's really happening in the world, uncovering all the absolute garbage that is absolutely screwing people all over the world. Don't get screwed, stay informed, and most importantly, stay open-minded. Again, LukeUncensored.com. If you haven't clicked that link, click it right now. Lots of very important stuff happening in there. Also, we have shirts. Some shirts that we can't even show here on YouTube on the bestpoliticalshirts.com. Now, if there ever was a, a narrative, a, a story, a man that made you question the, the entire integrity of this entire system, that man would, of course, will be... Jeffrey Epstein, a man who was promoted by all the top echelons of the mainstream media that many times took his carefully crafted top money could buy PR press releases and regurgitated them to the general public willingly when for over 30 years, the vast majority of people in power knew that this man was doing unspeakable things to small children, all with the full protection of local police officers, prosecutors, judges, politicians, Silicon Valley tech heads, and of course the big bankers and globalists. What you're looking in front of you right now is a piece from Cosmo in the 1980s calling him the Bachelor of the Month. There was also gloating pieces by VH1 and other media organizations that propped him up as some entrepreneurial bachelor, which is the sickest thing that could have been done and one of the lowest things done by the U.S. mainstream media that openly promoted this man and helped him gain countless numbers of victims because of their work. If there's a YouTube moderator watching right now, when you look at actual harm created by the mainstream media doing this, maybe that's more important than trying to strike this channel and hit us every time you can for even talking about these issues. But again, that's beyond the point here. As of course, there's a bigger element of this story that a lot of people are also missing. Jeffrey Epstein wasn't just tied and doing unspeakable things with some of the most powerful people in this world, people like Bill Gates, who had a long history of not being able to court women successfully and was hanging out with the man that was procuring children to elites. A lot. But it wasn't just very powerful people that Jeffrey Epstein was entangled in according to many sources he was entangled in something beyond this world in an energetic fashion that is definitely worth talking about and considering as we're finding out from a journalist who worked at vanity fair who was assigned to write about jeffrey epstein in 2002 and during the time that this journalist was writing this piece on jeffrey epstein she describes him as quote mostly a thug who soon quote told me he had completed a dossier on my then husband and me claimed that he could get my husband fired from his job and then me from mine she continues to say that he quote threatened to sue me personally which he reminded reminded me he knew I couldn't afford. And then there's this where she said, quote, strangest of all, he threatened to put a hex, a demonic spell 
on my unborn children. Yes, Jeffrey Epstein was threatening to cast a spell over someone's children to cause them harm. She goes on, in relation to this hex threat that Epstein, quote, crossed all normal boundaries and it became an obsession for him. He wanted to know who my doctor was, where the babies would be delivered, and he warned me, quote, I know all the doctors in this town. This journalist actually recorded these conversations, which were transcribed, and according to her, are over 450 pages long, and according to her, that information will be made public. Now, some things to point out here that are very strange is that this journalist claims to have lost the tapes, but still have the transcripts of them. That's very strange. But, but what's stranger is this major allegation of Jeffrey Epstein using demonic spells and the threat of them in order to take down any attempts of people finding out the truth of him. And when we look at Jeffrey Epstein and the very strange art that he surrounded himself with, as well as the very strange architecture, a lot of it tied to ancient Greece, Greek mythology, some say Luciferian, some say connected to Freemasons. There are some strange connections uh, to make here, especially personally speaking, after crashing his island, uh, we saw a lot of strange, weird architecture, goblins, gargoyles, creatures, and, sh and of, of course, symbols that many people point towards participating in the occult. And I think it's very safe to say that there's a lot of circumstantial evidence highlighting how Mr. Epstein was into the occult, whether it was satanic, demonic, Greek, everyone will of course have their own interpretations of what they personally believe here. But of course, this is all out of the ordinary activities, structures, and symbols that, 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 of course, a lot of people attribute different meanings to. There's also a large sun dial that was on his property that we discovered as well. A lot of people connect that to Freemasonry and its symbols. Here are some of the goblins and gargoyles that we found. And we have to understand, Jeffrey Epstein was hanging out with the upper echelons of the globalist corporate banking elite that many times do participate in very similar rituals, symbols, and practices as perfectly represented by the Bohemian Grove, where many prominent celebrities, media figures, politicians, tech moguls go and worship an owl in the middle of the woods while conducting mock child sacrifices. Yes, and we're not just talking about presidents coming here. We're also talking about individuals like Conan O'Brien that have participated at this kind of ceremony, which they call the cremation of care. When you look at what a lot of the top echelons is involved in, it's it's a lot of weird stuff. We, of course, know that the head of the Clinton campaign was invited to a spirit cooking dinner by Marina Ambrovich. Maria, of course, hangs out with all the latest celebritards like Lady Gaga and Jay-Z and literally conducts, quote, art that's called spirit cooking where she takes almost every single human liquid out of the body or waste out of the body uses it to write spells on wall in order to summon and communicate with demons the, this is this is literally the type of event that the Clinton spokesperson and campaign chair was invited to. Marina Abrovich also did an exclusive deal with Microsoft as well, which they had to pull down the video because of many allegations of this partnership promoting, quote, Satanism. Some people were making Bill Gates connections there, but even without any of the circumstantial information here, even without having to jump to conclusions or make things, even without that, what was happening with Jeffrey Epstein was absolutely evil. It's, it's monstrous, horrible activities that many people can't even fathom that I can't even mention here on this YouTube channel because if I told you what Jeffrey Epstein was doing, YouTube would pull my channel, which is infuriating because the mainstream media that promoted him, they're the ones that are getting pushed on YouTube. But anyway, just looking at the larger details of what was happening here, we have to understand how else can you describe what this man was doing unabated and with the full support of the federal government and local police departments for over 30 years? How else can you describe it other than absolutely evil? So to make this jump that this was uh, connected to the occult or satanic is not far since this man was committing acts that people can't even think of how absolutely ruthless and horrible they were. This is a real life horror story that unfolded with your tax dollars protecting it and making it happen as thousands of children were left 
hurt here, and there's more likely thousands more that are either too scared to talk or have been made to go missing. Again, Jeffrey Epstein kept a dossier of his victims in order to blackmail them. There was photos videos with very powerful politicians and associates connected to them that the FBI admittedly took from his mansions, which were wired up with their latest surveillance technology. We have yet to hear of any prosecutions on the evidence and the blackmail that Jeffrey Epstein had on very powerful people. The way that he treated his, his victims, the way that he tried to scare them, intimidate them, silence them, most likely also put other hexes and demonic spells on them, along with all the other powerful, weird Satanists in the upper echelons of the current system. Really? should have you worried about the true state of affairs of everything that's happening in this world. Because when the veil gets lifted, when you truly get to see a reality of, of the very most powerful people in this world and what they're capable of, the evils that they're willing to commit, you get a totally different picture of the world than the mainstream media wants you to see, than the ruling elites want you to see. And the only way to see it is to support and share independent media and whether it's this video or an article from this video it's it's imperative that you take action and one of the most important actions you could take as an individual is sharing information sharing data sharing articles sharing videos with your loved ones in order to make them understand the true reality of the world so they can't be victim of it the only way you'll be a victim is if you're totally ignorant of what's going on don't be a victim don't feed the beast look within yourself do the right things and again people don't really don't understand this. the smallest the smallest of actions add up to the biggest of actions and if we weren't incentivizing a lot of these demonic satanists and i want to use other words here but i can't if we stopped incentivizing them giving them our attention our our time our money our energy they wouldn't have any of it and it stops once we decide it stops i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you this is why i love you guys stick tuned for more here on we are change.org